Hello to all you YouTubers out there and welcome to Galaxy Jumpers videos. I would like to discuss directly what is on my mind which is of all things UFOs. Now have you seen any ships like this recently which I've got in my hand at all recently like this S4 sport model from Area 51 very advanced model nice type of ship great workmanship not like the primitive 747 jets that fall out of the sky and crash and everybody loses their life <laughs> unbelievable huh <laughs> yeah great entertainment huh <laughs> wow <laughs> warp speed <laughs> all right now i'm just kidding around because i'm a little bit tired all right i know i need to get with it here all right all right now um I am kind of fatigued. I've been up all night making some videos. Um, what I have found through my research and have been surprised about uh, is that uh, it seems to be that there's a ship present, I mean the mother ship present, uh, just about in every country in this world and just about in every state of the United States and uh, I've noticed uh, doing the research over the last past few years say about since uh, maybe 2003 up till now 2011 we have about twice as much UFOs reports. I mean, it used to be only a few states scattered here and there, but um, I could be right in one of my previous videos stating that um, I feel that this is early evacuation. Could be. Or it could be an invasion to wipe out all life. Now, I really don't want to get too far off the beaten path, but I'd like to, you know, say that with, with everything going on the way it is, uh, it just becomes overwhelming. There's UFOs in every state, in every country of the globe. Um, you wonder what's next. So, you look at two, maybe three, maybe about four items that are going on as far as these UFOs goes. Is we got very large UFOs, say about a mile round, maybe a little bit bigger, and you they're in just about in every country. I mean, uh, just recently they've been in... Uh, Jerusalem, uh, Germany, uh, Switzerland, uh, Japan, uh, Tokyo. Uh, we've got them in California. We've got them in Texas. We've got them in Nebraska. we got them just about everywhere. I mean, so, I mean, it's like it's telling us something besides with the crop circles now what I'm suggesting here is is that it's a phenomenon that's not going to go away and it is real not to mention the interstellar traffic that's going in and out of the earth's atmosphere daily and they're not ice particles and all the new data that's coming forward all the rest of the countries are coming forward with their classified documents 
and yet, of course, the United States government is the last two. Now, of course, I've heard through that leaky weeks and all that nonsense that uh, that the President Obama, yeah, Obama, yeah, I'm really thrilled about that guy. You know, I'm not too happy with him. I don't think anyone else is. But anyhow, if he at least has disclosure like everyone believes it's going to take place in a month, well, maybe we'll like him a little bit better. We'll have to see how the dude does. But in, in the meantime, um, what we're looking at, it gets pretty confusing, even for a researcher, even for someone who doesn't know much about the subject, it gets a little bit kind of confusing, a little, you know, and, uh, well, I mean, I mean, the intention of it all, I mean, some people are, are saying that, welcome the aliens, they're here to save us, they're here to help us and then on the other point on the other hand of the coin uh, well you never know they're here to destroy us and then some of them have attacked some airplanes or whatever and and some of them have gotten shot down from what I hear and, and I'm jumping around I'm fatigued I've been around up all night now maybe later on my my videos will improve get a little bit more polished but right now I'm trying to just get out the uh, get it out from the gut, you know, just what I think and what I feel. Um, you know, later on, I'll get this a little bit more perfected, personified, which I'd like to. But uh, what gets me is that, like I've seen in other videos that I've seen people mention, that, oh, how come that we and a thousand other people have seen videos I mean, I have seen videos. We, I mean, we have seen a, a UFO from another planet amongst about a thousand people, and it's not on the evening news. What's going on here? Something's wrong. See? So, uh, I'm thinking about that, and it makes one wonder. It's a catch-22. Uh, we're either going to be helped by these ETs, or, uh, or they're going to help destroy us. I don't know. Uh, but all I know is that I don't really feel comfortable about it. I'm not exactly too sure if I exactly trust NASA. After all, from what I know is uh, NASA, don't you think, is just another word for, not that I got anything against them, but Nazi? Does that ring a bell? Two N's there? N? So, uh, I don't know. All I know is that there's something that needs to be done, and done kind of quickly. Now, we need disclosure because then everything will work out great. Because with the, all the advanced technologies, uh, in regards to uh, space age technologies, as, as well as super advanced uh, medical techniques to uh, help people, then the world will breathe a lot easier. Um, but uh, what I'm looking at also is that if the disclosure doesn't come soon, and Mr. Mr. Great over there out there in Washington, Mr. Obama, you know, the so-called president, if he's not going to want to fork over all the uh, <laughs> all the top secret documents that tell us how we can repair ourselves and our families won't die in old age with all the technology and save the planet and ourselves with all the technologies to build spaceships well then I, um, then I think it's time that some alternate plans need to be made in a hurry real quick <laughs> so uh, that's what I'm thinking so alright now I'm not really sure how much time I got left but maybe I got some time. I just got an increase in my uh, limit to how long I can make my video, so I kind of like that. But in the meantime, I'm trying to not take too long to make this video. But let me tell you our options in the right order. Maybe later on I can clear things that can that are a little bit more confusing, maybe the way I'm saying it. But we got about, getting back to what I said now, we got about four options as I see it. And we got, one is to build a time portal, a mass time portal, to let the United States people walk through. Another option that we have 
is for every county and every state to build a spacecraft, spaceship, flying saucer, like the one I showed you before, the sport model from S4 Nevada, something close to that, and take all the townspeople and put them in there and go to that stupid jerk planet about 20,000 light years away, which is kind of a joke, some stupid guy from MIT just discovered it a few weeks ago, whatever, and I've known about it for the past year or so on the uh, Google uh, <laughs> satellite uh, Earth, <laughs> whatever that thing is that I use sometimes, and I've known about it, I hit on it accidentally, and I, and I found it myself, and who am I? I'm not anybody at uh, uh, MIT, but... Uh, Okay, so anyhow, what I'm looking at is uh, we could walk, we could we could have the local towns build the spaceships, or we can everybody could get on board and get everybody the heck out of here to safety before it's too late. Don't know if the aliens are going to help us, save us, whatever. But let's be prepared like everything else that we do, and let's do something. I mean. I'm not trusting anyone or anybody who says they know what they're doing with this planet. They think they know it's good for an American citizen. I say that we take the upper hand right now and start building spaceships, time portals. I've already got a time portal already that's not completed yet, but it will be soon. I already got a spaceship, a prototype I'm working on, but if it works out great, maybe I get the funds and I have someone help me build a bigger one. In the meantime, the option number three, yes, number three. <laughs> the option number three is, is that if we have what they call planet Nibiru headed towards the Earth to wipe out all life, as it says in the Mayan calendar and everything, well, here's another option, number three. <laughs> we could build a spaceship, flying saucer, whatever you call it, and land on the Nibiru and then we're safe don't have to worry about colliding on us and we're on earth and do that like in that movie uh, when worlds collide we could do that uh, another option is, is, uh, is we could build a spaceship as many people as much funds as we can achieve as biggest one we can get put everybody on board and just go to that planet about 20,000 light years away we well we could go there because it seems quite attractive but you also got to remember that uh, Jupiter has got about 20 moons orbiting the planet Jupiter and it also uh, through my research I have found out that there is also water and it is a class M planet to live on. It has hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen we breathe. So that's a winner. Uh, so we could go there. Um, so we've got those choices available. Launch a spaceship, land onto the planet that's gonna collide with this, or build a uh, public mass uh, time portal and everybody just walks through and, and goes to another alternate time dimension that's in case that there's no time to build a spaceship. But I do feel this ought to give hope to a lot of people that at least if we start getting the work getting started, like what I've already started and get it finished, along with everyone else that is willing to go along with this, that, okay, so now we enact at least three, maybe four out of our options to survival, um, then we can uh, live long and prosper you know so uh, as long as we've got some kind of time portal that the mass public can step through and feel confident and, and get it operational know that it works and also uh, know that that's an option then everybody's attitudes are going to be a whole lot better I mean a whole lot better and as long as we can build the spacecraft Never leave home without mouse, huh? I just got rid of the mouse point. I hope that didn't disturb you. I just noticed that for a long time. <laughs> Maybe this will bring better entertainment. I didn't even know it was there. Sorry about that. Um, but anyhow, uh, if we got a spacecraft 
that 